The next important repair system that prevents the mutation action is a SOS repair system. It is a post replication DNA repair system that allows the bypass of lesions or errors which usually occur during the replication of the DNA. This system specifically uses a protein called as a REC A protein. This REC A protein production is stimulated by formation of single standard DNA which are involved in the inactivation of the LEX A repressor which is usually binded there to the operator region of the SOS box. So, the inactivation of a LEX A repressor thereby inducing the response of production of more amount of REC A protein as well as other protein that are involved there in the repair system. This is also an error prone repair system that have been operating in the cell. During normal growth conditions, the SOS genes are negatively regulated by Lexia repressor protein dimers. Actually, this Lexia binds to a 20 base pair consensus sequence that have been present in the SOS box that is on the SOS genes, especially in the operator region of that particular gene. Activation of the SOS genes usually occurs under the DNA damage condition which starts with the accumulation of single standard DNA regions that have been generated at replication folks where the DNA polymerase activity is blocked or stalled. The REC A protein forms a filament around the single strand DNA regions in a ATP dependent fashion and it becomes activated. That is, the activated form of the REC A as a proteolytic function whereby it interacts with the LEX A repressor that has been already attached there to the SOS box. Thereby, it facilitates the LEX A repressor to self cleavage and move out of that operator site. So, on self cleaving of the LEX A repressor, it regulates the function of many other genes that have been involved in the DNA repair and synthesis. As a result, many more copies of the genes that are coding for enzymes that have been involved in the mutational repair are produced in a huge amount. This accelerates the replication and the repair process there inside the cell. This process could be best explained there through this diagram. So, in this diagram, you can able to see the Lex A repressor protein has been bounded there to the operator region and even the REC A protein has been produced in a very small amount. So, that is under a normal condition, various other genes are all down regulated there in the cell. That is those genes that are involved in the mutational repair mechanisms. Whereas, a UV radiation or any kind of a mutation has caused that results in the production of a lot of single standard DNA sequence, the REC A protein will bind that to the single standard DNA sequence activates the LEX A repressor protein. As a result, the LEX A repressor proteins are self cleaved and they are moving out of the operator region. This triggers the upregulation of various genes that are required for the mutational repair operation inside the cell. This SOS repair systems can be quickly used to repair the extensive damage caused by various agents such as a UV radiation. But the whole process is a error prone and even the operation of this process can able to cause some mutation there inside the cells. The last important mechanism of the DNA repair system is a photo reactivation. It is a kind of a repair mechanism that repairs the thymine dimers mainly by splitting them apart into separate thymine molecules. This system operates with the help of a visible light that has been used for a photochemical reaction catalyzed by enzymes referred as a photolyase. Because this repair mechanism do not remove and replace the nucleotides, it is commonly referred as a error-free mutational repair mechanism. The photolyases enzymes are basically flower protein containing enzyme and they contain some other light harvesting cofactors also associated with them. All photolyases found to possess two electron reduced FADH molecule and based on the type of cofactor presence, they can be classified into two major classes. One is a folate photolases that found to contain terine methyl tetrahydrofolate as a cofactor. The next one is referred as a diazoflavine photolases that again 
found to contain a modified form of a riboflavin that is DSR riboflavin containing as a cofactor. Although only FAD is required for the catalytic function of this enzyme, the second one that is a cofactor significantly accelerates the reaction rate under a low light intensity conditions. The enzyme acts by electron transfer in which the reduced flavin FADH is activated by the light energy and it acts as an electron donor to break the pyrimidine dimer that have been formed due to the mutation. It is an example for a direct reversal of the lesion molecules. The photoreactivation mechanism has been explained there in this diagram. When DNA is getting exposed there to the UV light, it causes the covalent dimerization of the thymine molecules. That is, thymine is converted to thymidine dimer molecule that have been shown as a triangle there in the diagram. So, formation of this thymine dimers may cause a kink or bending there in the backbone of the nucleotide chain. So, this region will be correctly recognized by the photoreactivating enzymes mainly that is of a folate photolysis or of a diazoflavin photolysis. These enzymes absorb the light at a wavelength of around 300 nanometer that is of a fluorescent light or of a ordinary sunlight and they facilitate a series of photochemical reactions there that help in monomerizing the dimerized form of the thymine thereby the normal configuration of the thymine molecule will be restored at the end of this enzyme functions.